Was it seduction or illusion? Deception or murder? Nothing is what it seems in a town like Twin Peaks. Starring Kyle MacLachlan, Michael Anke, Lara Flynn Boyle, Sherilyn Fenn, and Joan Chen. Now you can fall back into the mystery or begin your search for the first time every Tuesday night with a new episode hosted by a panel of superfans. Watch live for the audio commentary. No one is innocent. It's Thursday night, and Netter's Network talks to the streamers who have everybody talking. It's Thursday Things, Thursdays at 9 Central, 10 Eastern, on Netter's Network. This series presents information based in part on theory and conjecture. The producer's purpose is to suggest some possible explanations, but not necessarily the only ones, to the mysteries we will examine. Uh, salute. Welcome, welcome. 
Happy Monday. Well, okay, it's it's Monday. Don't know how happy it's going to be, but uh, we're going to have uh, Monday night at the movies, so uh, so it shouldn't be all that bad. Thanks for those of you that uh, were able to make it one hour early, uh, because we are doing a very special uh, double feature tonight, uh, both uh, Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. Uh, however, Ghostbusters, uh, well, our commentary here on YouTube will be only for the first one. Uh, we will be, we are simulcasting to, uh, to Rumble, uh, and Twitter, of course, but uh, I will be shutting down the YouTube, uh, uh, stream after we finish the first movie and, uh, we will continue, uh, the commentary for the second movie over on, uh, over on Rumble. So, uh, that being said, let me first say hi to my lovely uh, co-hostess, uh, Netter of Netter's Network. How you doing, my dear? And what are you sipping on tonight? I'm doing well for a Monday. Right. Right, because it's Monday. Yeah. Let's see. Mondays normally suck, but now, now you got something to look forward to. There you go. Every Monday night, you got this great movie night. Now, I am sipping on, because it is a sucky Monday, a Meyer Sparkling Water berry flavor instead of having an alcoholic beverage yeah i got a bit of a headache myself so i'm just going with a uh, um, uh, cherry coke um just trying to get rid of the headache i think if i if i had anything any alcohol tonight it would probably just dry me out more and i'd even have a worse headache but uh let's say hi to the chat and see what everyone's sipping on in the chat Starting with uh, Connie Cleary. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Bird Woman of YouTube. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll... Would you like high octane? I will take a high octane. Show Thank everyone what high octane is. High octane is, of course, uh, rock star pure zero. Oop, pure zero. Uh, you know, 10 calories, but, uh, you know, it's got the... Brings the caffeine, uh, which is a, you know vasodilator, you know, that'll help with your headache. People don't realize that uh, you get those uh, migraine medicines. Caffeine is the main active ingredient besides acetaminophen and uh, aspirin. Anyway, Connie, welcome. So, so glad to see you here. And of course, have a great stream, my friends. Bustin makes me feel good. Nope, nope. Out, out. <laughs> I only say because I know you've seen uh, Frozen Empire too. Uh, check out. Uh, Keep in mind, I am the bouncer here. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, Big Al uh, has dropped his um, ten-word review of Frozen Empire, and although I had intended to have my uh, two-part review out today, did not get to that. Hopefully, I will get to that tomorrow uh, before uh, live from Sparkwood in twenty-one. Here's hoping. Um, and if you are over on Rumble, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Absolutely. Um, oh, speaking of which, I was going to drop, before I get too far into this, let me uh, rumble. No, not rumble. Um, Cosme. Cosme, oh. link to the film stream. There we go. And uh, I guess I got to be in the YouTube in order to pin that. Uh, so there we go. That should be pinned to the top so that you can jump into Cosme and watch along with us. Uh, that Cosme link will run uh, for both streams or yeah, both movies all night. Uh, it's the just. The link has just been dropped as well. Yeah. Oh, thanks. And. Uh, and yeah, we'll get back to that in a second. Uh, I thought I said, oh yeah, Curtis Shelby. I wanted to find your first one where you said hi to me. Welcome, welcome. So glad to see. Oh, and see, you know, uh, Curtis is watching Big Al's review of Immaculate. So check that out as well. Um, and then I know I saw Samuel Proctor. Welcome, welcome. And uh, yes, I love you too, Netter. And... Lester San Jose. Can't wait. Yeah, this is a, these are great movies. They really, really are. And I think that catches us up, even though it says we got 11 watching. Uh, don't know if that means that we got some, oh, nope, nope. See, because I did not say hi to Story Man Jack. 
Storyman Jack, make sure you're following him on all the platforms. Uh, I would recommend definitely following him on X because uh, that's a great way to see every time he makes post. And uh, you can see from there where he's at. Mm. Uh, oh, hey, Six, how you doing? Um, mm, Cherry Coke, sipping on nothing, getting ready for work. Well, yeah, yeah, I get you. But uh, make sure you stay hydrated. Doesn't have to be alcohol, remember. Uh, anything to wet your whistle. And of course, be glad with Nate. How Nate, Nate, welcome, welcome. Uh, hi, Chelly's. Uh, it's just getting off work now. I got you on my phone. Okay, fair enough. Drive safely. Uh, the Cosme link will be there when you get home. Uh, it's going to be a good week for movies for me. Uh, there's this, uh, this stream. Uh, and my vintage theater is uh, re-releasing Ben-Hur this weekend. That ought to be good to see on the big screen. That's going to be the first time watching it for me. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, Big Al uh, had done a, a Ben-Hur stream. It was a while back. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely check that out. Let us know what you thought. Um, Yes, I would say that Chick-fil-A uh, shake absolutely does count. It actually almost counts as a meal, if, if we're honest. Um, and uh, yeah, now I think we're caught up. And then one other thing I want to do, I, 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 I guess because you guys are all my regulars, I, I never stop to think about the people that might come by in the future. So what I really need to do is let people know that, whoops. Let me Honey, I don't think your Cosme link is pinned to the top. I don't see it there. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Um, Cosme link in the chat for live stream of film. If you are joining, what is it if you're not joining live? Joining in not live? Memorox? You'll need your own copy. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, so let me go back to the... Uh, I thought I had pinned it. You dropped it, but you didn't pin it. I'm not seeing it at the top. Pin message. There you it go. says message pinned. It's pinned now. Okay, okay. Well, it's pinned now. and You guys can come in and join us. Because I know JPRPH1, Curtis Selby's over there. Big Al's over there. Okay, you, although you guys might have just seen it in the chat, it may not have been may not have been pinned. But there yeah, you go. Yeah, because we're clever that way. We you are all pins. very. You are all above average. <laughs> that that I know of, of you, my friends. Uh, joining dead. That's what it is. Yes, and if you're not careful, you'll get busted. Right. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just get this uh, get this show on the road. Um, da da da. I uh, I have no idea what version of this is, and and I I don't think there's different edits of the movie out there, are there? I'm pretty sure this is the release version. So. This is a rip right from the DVD. So uh, so let's uh, just go ahead and get it started. Uh, I want to see my stream yard, so I know I'm in the right place. Undead, yeah, I suppose undead ghost would be undead, not dead, right? Okay. Uh, so let me do the thing where I share. Uh, actually, let me bring up the movie first. Uh, we're going to do the first one, which is Ghostbusters. Okay. So uh, so at the two-second mark, it, it, it brings up the old Columbia uh, logo, just, uh, just so you kind of know where we're at there. Um, share. I'll do 720. I don't think we need the relay server. Entire screen there with sound because I think you want to hear it. Share movie, blow it up, and uh, here we go. Uh, we will start in five, four, three, two, one, play. And we'll see if I've done it right. As soon as I hear some sound, I think it starts out fairly quiet, it doesn't start out with any music. Well, time. there's a little music too. More like that. Serious sound effect.
And of course, this is the public library. I wonder if they were actually doing uh, some kind of construction there. I have to imagine so. I don't think they'd see any reason to move that for filming. See, back in the day, people read books. The books had to then be put back on the shelves in order so you could find them again. I still read books. I know. I love books. <laughs> I'm going to try not to uh, give any spoilers for uh, Frozen Empire. I, I will have a review. I'm, I'm hoping to have a review out tomorrow, but um, a lot of great references uh, in in that. And I'm going to say, I, I don't call them fan service. I, I'd say that's how you do a sequel. There are certain things that need to be referenced because this takes place in the same world, you know, where events happened and get referenced back to. Not hear that noise. Well, that's why she turned around. Yeah, but it took her a while before she turned around. Now, of course, the scared reaction is something supernatural is happening, right? I'm not cleaning that up. I was just going to say, but you know she's thinking, I got to put all those back in order now. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Of course, you know, the ethics board would be all over him. Well, back in my day, they would have been. I don't know what the heck universities are like these days. A lobby card for adventures and babysitting. He's such a jerk. <laughs> he loses his gum. I used to have a trick deck of cards like that that were marked, little dots in coded places to let you know what it was. 75 more to go. Now, see, that's probably the most tragic part of this because he finally gets one right. Maybe the experiment's working. Maybe the negative reinforcement is actually causing a, a, a psychokinetic connection there. See? Five bucks? Yeah, I made a lot more when I... Had to, had to volunteer in the psychology department.
<laughs> the one you erased yesterday. See, back then they used uh, uh, they used magnetic discs to record, you know, video. They called them VHS or Beta. Betas were the small ones, right? But higher resolution. They were so young there. I know, right? Oh, welcome, Deleted Scenes. Unless I'm mistaken, Deleted Scenes also has up a review of uh, Frozen Empire. That one I haven't gotten to yet. See... That's that's one thing that I think it would have been great if we'd have seen Jennifer see what became of her. Maybe she became like some sort of a psychic or something, doing readings or something. Mass sponge migration. <laughs> he was young too Let's face it, those are fair questions. Would you like to? <laughs> Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Exactly, Samuel Proctor. The science was kind of iffy back then, too. That's a nice deck. I was just going to say, you see that, you know, the first thing you think is not, you know, supernatural. Except maybe a crazy person. Listen, do you smell something? I love that one. <laughs> I mean this 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 really is Spangler's kind of thing, you know, molds and slimes. <laughs> uh, something tells me that was improv and those were like actual books. <laughs> A little more intense than the sponges, I guess.
Ooh, it's getting excited. And there's the Westlaw section. Yep. Yep, no legs. <laughs> and I think what, what's really terrible is they're, they're not recording this. There's no video equipment. What was that question? It's, I, I just said it's sad they don't have any uh, equipment to record it. I thought... I uh, uh... asked for the video camera before, yeah. But, well, now he's going to take a picture. I was recording before the slime and all that as they went through the sticks. Well, it's even worse. Now there's actually something to record. See, he's got the recorder right there in his hand. I mean, in what world did you think that was going to work? So, for those of you that are into the lore, you know, this is the beginning of the, the very idea of the ghost trap. I'm going to take back some of the things I said about you. This guy's a jerk. Yeah. Yeah, because all of the the uh, the research that's done in universities is so important and yeah. you know so worthwhile. Studying the effects of cocaine on rats, for example. Good question. Uh, psychology or parapsychology, I guess. They expect results. <laughs> yeah, parapsychologist. Mortgages? Yeah. Hey, PJ. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, my friend. 
If you are interested in watching Ghostbusters along with us, of course, the Cosme link is pinned right to the top. He's actually very cleverly doing negotiation here. Ruined by Ray. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, it is a cool place. A lot of history. I still negotiate the price down, though. I know, I know. It's like, yeah, he might like it, but there's so much wrong with this place. Yep, city living, especially when you live in an apartment. See, in the city, we jaywalk. Right. Well, oh, didn't realize. <laughs> so it only took 10 minutes. Which you shouldn't do. Yikes. Mineral water sounds tempting. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Oh, he lagged himself out. I've done that before. Five, 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 two, three, six, eight. And if the creep down the hall well, called I mean, the manager, if you're thirsty enough, what were you saying? If the creep down the hall called the manager, why didn't the manager go into her apartment and turn it off? Yeah, good point. Stay puffed marshmallows. Yep. So part of the lore of Ghostbusters is, I mean, I guess you have to assume it's an alternate universe. We get different history. In their world, they have Stay Puffed Marshmallows, for example. Um, there's a couple other little quirks about the New York map that are a little different. And obviously all this ghosty stuff. I hope she memorized that phone number. Right. Hey, look, it's a hell dimension. That's what's for dinner. Yeah. I mean, it is interesting when you open up your refrigerator and find a hell dimension.
So there's the Ecto-1 before it became the Ecto-1. Yeah, by the time he's done with all the work, it'll be as much as a new car. <laughs> Type some. We're paying for this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those old computer. Wow. Wow. Spores, mold, and fungus. She didn't remember. She just went there. But they only showed a phone number, not an address. Good point. Don't know. I would have started with Dr. Peter Bankman, but okay. <laughs> what are you doing down there exactly, Dr. Spangler? Uh, they can't tell you without changing the rating of the movie. Oh, God. <laughs> Race memory. Um, Altered States. That's another good movie. Uh, not to worry, Jesse, uh, but if you do want, oh, uh, you have uh, jury duty. That's very interesting. If you would like to, uh, you know, the, the link's right up the top if you want to jump in where we're at. Cheez-Its. Well, of course, I have next to me. What's always been my movie stack, Good and Plenty. Good and Plenty. There you go. I'm going to go check her out. <laughs> I know. Isn't it great? He's such a dork. Yeah, for New York City apartment, she's paying a mint for that yep. place. He doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. Oh, what a crime. <laughs> she called him. That's What's where this? the egg thing happened. 
was this before she became a strong, independent woman? <laughs> right, exactly. But I don't know, in Alien, she kicked butt. Uh, actually, she was an alien before this, so. Was she? Yeah. I started cooking. <laughs> Interesting looking fridge. Yeah, I mean, she's got a lot of odds and ends, doesn't she? Well, what thing is he supposed to use it correctly? His eyes? Because he's not seeing anything. Yeah, 79 uh, was Aliens, Ghostbusters with 84, then the Alien sequel was 86. Thanks, Lead Scenes. See, that's, I know, you are the, you are the, the details guy. <laughs> we both have the same problem, you. <laughs> Oh, she has this effect on men, as you can tell. It's the cheekbones, pretty sure. <laughs> he just got locked out again. <laughs> well, she's not going to pay you if you don't actually do something. Let me know if you want to come back in. What the heck happened, Mr. Young? I don't know. You just dropped out. I got the something went wrong thing. Give me that. Um, Jesse asks, uh, okay, is it in. true that uh, Bill Murray said he was going to retire before uh, Ghostbusters, the Ghostbusters movie? That I don't know. He was still pretty early in his career. Seems unlikely. But he definitely did not want to do sequels. He fought sequels continuously. At least they put a little safety thing around the pole so you don't just actually walk into the hole. I'm sure there's a New York safety standard they have to follow or something. Although I'm pretty sure that, that uh, firehouses have done away with those long time ago. I know, but how fast God lights are us. Not to mention that very few of them are multiple stories anymore. Yeah, that's true. His firehouse was one level. The Cedric Hotel, which uh, doesn't exist in the real world. So, you know, that's another one of those alternate reality things. Quietly. There's going to be a mess.
to. Is that better than ghosts, cockroaches? I don't. I think I'd rather people think there was a ghost sighted in my hotel than a cockroach. Yeah. You. We haven't had a, an entirely successful test of these things yet. Does that mean there was a test that was unsuccessful? Was there a fourth Ghostbuster before this? So the fact is that that Ray and Egon are absolute true believers, and Venkman doesn't take any of it seriously. No, he doesn't. We could do more damage that way. I use that line all the time. A little spoiler for Frozen Empire. We find out that uh, Ray quit smoking. It's sometime in the 90s. It's Slimer. Yep, yep. Troy, did you see the movie with giant humanoid bugs in the old subways of New York? Don't think so. Doesn't sound familiar. Did they say that they came from the uh, U.S. military R&D? I thought because uh, one of them worked in the uh, physics department, it was something they'd cobbled together themselves. I would imagine you feel kind of funky. Mimic. Oh, I have not seen that, no. This is going to be a mess. Yup. That's the one I got him. <laughs> that was not a good sound. The table broke.
But don't cross the streams. I'm <laughs> fuzzy on the whole good bad thing. See, now at this point, it's really hard for Venkman to not be a believer. It's like, okay, this stuff is real now, you know? I just heard something go eep. Yeah, it was probably Slimer. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of damage. But they're getting rid of the ghost. He actually did a pretty decent job. <clears throat> and don't look into the trap. That is pretty cool. That is yeah, pretty cool. Is. I looked at the trap, Ray. Yeah, so there's a, a little fan debate that's going on about that line. Um, some fans think that the way the trap works is if you look into it, it like takes a little piece of your soul because, you know, that's what it does. Uh, but most people tend to believe, you know what? It's just the bright light, you know, just like you don't look into the sun directly. And if you do, not that bad, just you really shouldn't do it. A class five. Oh, yeah, Jesse, there was a whole lot of stuff that, you know, didn't go the way they planned, but it worked better than they anticipated, so they kept it. At one point, I don't have it uh, immediately available, but at one point I had written up, you know, the the costs that he he he, he expressed, and then I calculated what that would be in modern dollars. Is well, USA Today still a thing? I don't know. Yeah. I know the it New is. York Post is. They're referred to as ghost cops. Larry King always looked like a ghost to me. Yeah, He's right. Darn pale. Oh, somebody must have put some foundation on him this time because now he actually has skin tone. Right. Yeah, I guess Omni would have to do an article on, on their scientific accoutrement. Casey Kasem. I miss that voice. Okay, they call him... 
guys in gray. Those are khaki to me. Yeah. <laughs> Globe. No job is too big, no fee is too big. Okay. So I think everybody knows that this scene was from a whole separate storyline that they were doing that they decided not to, to go with, but since they needed stuff for the montage, they use this. <laughs> perhaps a dream sequence, perhaps not. But I have a theory that if Slimer is a manifestation of gluttony, then that ghost was a manifestation of lust. I love that line. Because how many of us would say exactly the same thing? I know a lot of people who took jobs in 2020. That said, but I'll believe whatever you say as long as there's a paycheck in it. I'll push that experimental drug you've been hawking. Is it, are these dangerous? <laughs> Uh, familiar. primary fan theory is that this dude is the uh, is the father of Oscar. <laughs> what was that about the father of Oscar? The dude she was just talking to. <laughs> the uh, nasal spray guy. <laughs> I have hundreds of people dying to abuse me. All right. Take it easy, deleted scenes. See you tomorrow. Weren't they one of those those uh those guys that built things uh the doozers? <laughs> <laughs> Was it Fraggle Rock? Yes. Yeah, people have uh suggested that, but the timeline doesn't work out. In fact, um she's gonna have to get back together with that guy in order for him to be the uh the father. But I think it was uh, Ivan Reitman who said that he felt that this guy was the father. So, you know, that's the most authoritative we've got. Now, I've also heard some commentary about it in the novelization. I just picked up this novelization. I'm going to be reading it. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, he's not that cute. No, he's not. And he's kind of obnoxious. Yep. A lot like me. No. <laughs> I got to get me one of those for sure.
The company I work at distributes his Crystal Head Vodka. Really? Between you and me and the other 11 hey, people. It's the pecker. Yes. <laughs> Between you and me and the other 11 people watching, Curtis, is it any good? Because I've really been thinking about getting a bottle of that. If for no other reason, that's a cool bottle. Uh, Nate says uh, his crystal vodka is pretty good. Uh, used to sell a lot of it. All right, I'm going to have to pick some up. I'll bet Benny's has it. Well, the reality is the fans have already kind of gone with the whole... Uh, um, real Ghostbusters concept of their being franchises in different cities. There's no chemicals in our basement. Oh, you, you sold me, Curtis. I'll definitely pick up a bottle of it. And a yes, I do like blood. vodka. Smoking around those uh, <laughs> those things. Yeah, they're electrical. They're not gas. I had the big Twinkie. It's all about the Twinkie, Ray. Oh, now I want a Twinkie. Aunt Croy did a Zoom meeting with a couple of sales reps. We were told to be quiet. <laughs> in the chat but i ignored them uh i started the the meeting with we're on a mission from god he loved it of course he did because he's not a dick he's a real person okay. yep The gatekeeper and the key master. And this kind of seems to imply that they've been in there all this time. With their mouth stuck open. Yeah. They can't hurt their jaws. Which would imply they were, like, put there by Ivo Shandor. Did they get locked in? More ads, okay. If they let me back in, she does, but at least she's nice. She doesn't like, you know, say anything nasty to hurt his feelings. Yeah. I like that window. I do too. But I think it kind of goes with decor. I've been dealing with a ghost problem. Venkman could have taken the EPA guy on a ride along and shown him it's real. I Yeah, you know, it's one of those things Netter and I talk about with movies. There's a lot of things that 
if you just show, just tell them, just say plain words, you know? Yeah. But they don't because they need the story to happen, right? From that, it looks like our kitchen's on fire. Yeah. That would have been my first reaction, not, oh my gosh, you know, ghosts. Now, in fairness. And who here, turns their head this slowly when they see something out of the corner of their eye? True. Yeah, you literally. So they're going, oh crap, I gotta call the fire department. Uh, wait, there's hands. Yeah. Now, in fairness, if I was this chair and she sat on me, I'd grab her too. I can't actually have a hold of her boot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like the one hand grabbed her boob. Yeah. The other hand that grabbed her boob again. And I don't know if it was supposed to be that way or if the guy in the chair was like, I'm sorry, I thought it was your shoulder. <laughs> It would have been funny to see the EPA guy wet his pants, yeah. <laughs> you don't say that directly yeah. to your clients. Such a dork. And actually, if you think about it from a business standpoint, that's exactly what you do. You introduce everyone and say what they do for a living so they can, you know, they can work. Looks like someone already had too much. Actually, the dog was here first. <laughs> Curtis says, I knew I made a poor career choice. Should have been a chair. Yeah, but chances are you wouldn't have ended up in Dana's apartment. You would have ended up in his. Yeah. Oh, just knock down that old man. <laughs> so there was, uh, in prehistory, there were these giant pigs called endodents that basically looked like and were about the same size as these terror dogs. I mean, he's got a point. Where's well? There's the door right there. Didn't go far enough. Right. So here's the thing: everyone else was able to see the terror dog, but now only he sees the terror dog. Maybe I got a milk bone. See, because you don't see him through the window yeah. from this side. I guess he's a spirit. He's going to be... Well, body. yeah, that's true. It did go into... Um, him. Know. Yeah. A cougar. Well, at least he brought flowers. All right, I've called... And it's meaning I want to remind everybody that they aren't allowed to keep ancient mythological dogs in apartments. Yes, exactly. The apartment looks like now. <laughs> it is a different look for her. Now, the other implication is she had this dress already.
The windows could have been tinted, yeah. But we were able to see out. Do you know how many years it was after I saw this movie that I got the implication of the gatekeeper and the key master? Actually, um, if you recall from the Ghostbusters movie where it's the... It's Afterlife, the, yeah. yeah. Uh, the two beasties are the ones that knock out. Uh, so that means the accountant is daddy, not no, the musician. No, it doesn't. The timeline doesn't work. Otherwise, she would have been pregnant for like three years. Oh. I never get involved with possessed people. <laughs> it sounds like you got at least two people in there and a little crowded. So that's the other thing. For as sleazy as he is, it's like he he knows this is kind of wrong. He's not going to do this. Kind of right? wrong? Just kind of wrong? Kind of, yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, hey, you Boomer. Boomer. Okay, not exactly sexy. Very much, uh, you know, a uh, uh, exorcist parody going on here. Yeah. I mean, you got to admit, that's pretty cool. It's a new dance uh, move. <laughs> King's wife, friends, women with leprosy, possessed women. Right, exactly. Yes, you never stick your key in crazy. That's right. You really thought a horse was a gatekeeper. Maybe. Well, I mean, I, and the fact is in New York, that eh, wouldn't be all that surprising. Curtis says, I was possessed by a demonic greater God and I acted way smoother than he does. But dropping off or picking up, what would they be picking up? I don't know. <laughs> like that Bellevue doesn't want them to be totally all kinds of crazy.
<laughs> yes, have some. <laughs> I think I'd keep the caffeine low on this guy. Fun pad, UPS now delivers possessed people. Yes, exactly. Are you getting any of this? You think? Ooh, popcorn. Kind of a shame they didn't, uh, you know, go somewhere with that, uh, her being very psychic thing. Yeah. <laughs> 300 cc's of Thorazine. It's like, just leave it where it is. You don't have to hand it all to me. Just try and be helpful. Here's your gift. That should be making her hyperventilate. I know, Three right? Three short breaths too fast. But she's panting like a dog. That's the thing. And this is uh, actually tattooed on his arm, the inside of his arm. No, that's Terminator. Oh, <laughs> He's boy. like, actually, it hadn't. Now it has. Oh, they did. I, I, I think I remember that, Jesse. Thank you. Yeah, I, I got it right over here to check it out. Uh, I haven't watched it in years. Oh, okay, again. Here's your file. Please get rid of the three legacies. <laughs> like all of them, please. Yeah, you don't get to just say that. You have to kind of show a warrant of some kind. But you still don't have a search warrant. Yeah, this is the kind of thing where you get... Uh, You're such a dick. Well, this is why I love what the mission says in just a second.
See? Yeah. That's that's a guy who knows. It's like, I, you know, it could be very dangerous. I don't know what this is or what it does. Yeah. Like, uh, how do I shut her off? Boom. Exactly. Yeah, they could have brought aliens into it, yeah. But they were instead going for the idea that the, the creation of, of the, the structure of, of the building was integral to it. Yeah, exactly. Because you had to say. Yeah, this is where you got to say, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, moron. You work with a shark. Yeah. It's a sign going out of business, right, exactly. Vince Clortho. result of those explosions direct result of you being an asshole and shutting yeah. down the system after we told you Look, not to. we told you what would happen. You did it anyway, and it happened. What do you want from me? And those pretty lights are dangerous. Yes, they are. So is she. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You said. Tourist. Well, you know, I mean, he knows a good hot dog. Yeah. The Iron Giant, exactly. Well, there's a lot going on. So, you know, you don't notice everything. Well, that just wrecked her apartment. <laughs> or both. Which you don't. True. They had it with them at the time. They're in holding. They're not in prison, so to speak. They haven't even been booked yet. Yeah. 
and she lives in a penthouse, which means she's spending so much money per month on that apartment. Yep. Yep. And then he voiced the yellow M and M. Then he fired Peter Parker before rehiring him. <laughs> I mean, it is the truth. <laughs> oh, now they want to talk after shutting us down? Uh, so that so one's not too out there, Jesse. I could totally see that, yeah. That apartment's trashed. Yeah, you're not getting her security deposit back. It's That's a penthouse. She owns it. In New She's owning that apartment. Oh, good point, one. good point. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's certainly not rent controlled anymore. Well, those type of buildings wouldn't have been rent controlled. Right. There are only certain types of buildings that were rent controlled. Well, he finally gets the girl and he's not going to remember it. Is that the stairway to heaven? Well, for him, it is. Now, to me seriously. Uh huh, sure. Do you have any proof on any of this? No, you don't. <laughs> well, that's what I heard. <laughs> that fire commercial looks real familiar, too. <laughs> See, now the adults are in the room, right? Well, it couldn't hurt. Right? <laughs> Shit, that would turn. <laughs> it is like what I am like. Yeah. 
Yep. Dogs and cats dogs living cats together. Mass hysteria. And we can stop this thing. It's like, you know, let's wait for re election for you. Well, concerned that you slandered them by saying they were giving drugs to people or drugs, which they were not. Bye. Plus, you destroyed, you know, their containment field yep, and everything else. He's a else. dick. He's a peck. Er. Uh. We already got the last two. I'm sorry. I'm not. I. Wonder what the reference is there, Jesse. Yeah, that's right. You see Mars, traffic lights don't matter anymore. Same thing if you're in a funeral procession. True. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. The praying can't hurt. I want to know why some of those Jewish people were like kind of bowing as they were talking. The rest of them were just standing there with their eyes shut. Doing the I same don't thing. know. Maybe they're not all saying the same prayer at the same time. I just know seeing consistency. Well, you know. And all those are fans of the actors. <laughs> right, exactly. That's a big thing we got to do. Well, I was just going to say, yeah. You afraid of heights? Because you got much bigger things to be afraid of right now, folks. You think? Yeah, that kind of stuff happens all the time in New York. At least it does now. And for Superman to come down. Right, exactly. Officer, is that man all right? Like, I'm all right. I'm all they right. They want to play rough. Okay. Yeah, this, they, they themselves a little bit of cred there. 
That's what would suck if they died on their first reel. Right? That's exactly right. Because then, you know, about 20 years later, four women take over. Oh, no, that one didn't exist. Yeah. Alternate. Oh, God. I think this is when they should quit smoking. <laughs> That's a toy tell me so I can throw up. <laughs> Leggy keeper. And tell you, key master. He's like, thank God, I can't climb anymore. Well, that should be the top floor. There shouldn't be any more stairs going up, less the stairs to the actual roof. Of course it is. Couldn't be right here. I gotta walk some more. I'm surprised Disney didn't buy out Ghostbusters back. No, I remember there was at Universal Studios theme park, there was a Ghostbusters experience. It was actually pretty damn cool. Yeah. Oh, I guess there are other apartments up there. Usually the penthouse is on the top floor, though. Uh, I think the cathedral levels are above her. They go up. They go up. <laughs> of course they do. And once you go up, they go down. Yeah, exactly. Now they're going to do their dance moves. Now they do it doggy style. Yeah, just in time to see the transformation. <laughs> She's a dog. She's a doge. Yes. You got to admit, that's a pretty cool set. Yeah. Very progressive, that Gozer. Go get her, Ray. <laughs> just, what? <laughs> it didn't work with the library, Gozer. It's not going to work with a Mesopotamian god. Let's see. Well, it's a start. I love the fact that, that Bankman's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I like how she's got to charge herself up by turning her arm sideways first. Well, she's just being dramatic. She was loading up. Yeah. Okay, I got to bring her back to the side. And that's a little bit of that Palpatine, uh, you know, force lightning action going on there. You yeah. say yes. <laughs> this chick is toast. <laughs> I mean, it's true. They do kind of come off like some kind of warriors, right? That's how you would think that Gozer would interpret them. Did you fly? I believe I can fly. Game for the They really think that did it? All gone. She's, she's gone. Yeah. No. It's not what you think it is. Uh oh. Destroying the place even more. Yep. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, probably not. See, now, he just thought of Jad Gru. Why isn't Jad Gru? Nobody choose anything? Ray. And everyone turns and looks at Ray. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> you can't. You know. What did you, what do, did you Ray? do, Ray? I don't want marshmallows. I know, oh, right? Actually, I still got two peeps left you over got two from peeps. my there leader's night. There you go. So I get the sugar rush. Oh, let me get the rest of my Charleston chew. That's a uh, marshmallow too. Hola. Thank you. I love the look on his face. It's just all smiley. Hi, I'm here to kill you all. I got to roast this one.
interesting that can actually put that sentence together, though. <laughs> Mother pus bucket. Why do I have flaming marshmallow pieces everywhere? One hopes. I mean, that's the intent. That thing is crunchy. I can hear it. Yeah, it's frozen. Here's <laughs> <laughs> the sailor. He's in New York. Crossing the streams is bad, Ray. Or Egon. <laughs> There's definitely a very slim chance. Of yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Especially when you realize they don't have anything else. So, another fan theory. Crossing the streams would cause uh, every particle in the universe to explode at the speed of light, right? Fan theory is that's exactly what happened in Gozer's dimension. And then Gozer became trapped between worlds. And how would anyone survive that? Um, you know, just like Bruce jumping off of uh, what's it? Uh, Nagatomi Tower. Na yeah, Nagatomi Tower. Right, exactly. <laughs> I wonder if it actually tastes like Stay Puff well, marshmallows. Well, thing. He just had a bunch of liquid marshmallow fall on him. Shouldn't that have been hot? Yeah, yeah, it would burn. But you also sure. saw white with, like, burnt pieces yep, coming down on it. Yep, yep, yep. there'd be some <laughs> char, right. Oh, that shaving cream. Right. That's what it looks like. That's probably what they used in the movie, yeah. There's three of them. Oh, yeah, I can understand that. How does he have, like, no? He hid behind Ray. That's a mess. Yeah, he realized how insensitive that was. It's like, get me out of here. Yep. There. Uh, Samuel Pratt says, I got another YouTube streaming group where one of the guys are also named Venkman. At the at this point, I keep thinking of him whenever I see this movie. That's how much we interact. Yeah, there you go. Go check out that little guy.
And on all this, his glasses didn't even crack. Right. <laughs> What the heck happened to my apartment? Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> Who does your taxes? Okay. okay, okay, why not? The glasses were part of the transformation, exactly. Well, I can't Superman. Well, I mean, they're, they're wearing clo the clothes, too, so, I mean, they had a transformation, too. Directed by Ivan Reitman. The fact is, shaving cream would be a lot cheaper than that much marshmallow fluff. Well, I'll go with them in the car. I do find it, you know, quite admirable that his first things he, he thinks of is who does the business? That's a good business mind. Okay. And we have a skeptic tank sighting over on Rumble. Let me go ahead and do that again. Well, I think I, I got it pinned to the top, right? No, that's the Cosmelink. Sorry, guys. Let me go ahead and drop that uh, rumble link. Uh, it still makes me feel good. Yeah. It's like, now get out of the way. We gotta go get the stuff off. Oh. <laughs> There's an image in Cosme giving a fox a massage. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite the music. It's a great soundtrack. That movie. I really do. Do 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 do. I just don't remember the song. Well, it's because you know it was uh, in the closing credits. That's where it's from. It's from the credits. <laughs> sure. Okay. 
See, it's playing right now in the closing credits. Oh, look, the Godfather, Jim Nelson. It doesn't sound very Italian. I know. Do, 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 do. Ghost Shop Advisor. Oh, Ghost Shop is in where they actually make the ghosts behind the scenes. Could have meant something else. Yeah, it would have been cool if it had been like, you know, Ray's a cult bookstore proprietor or something like that, right? Maybe. They were really proud of that Slimer attack effect. They did it twice, yeah. So the whole concept of, of, um, Ectoplasm comes from uh, Victorian uh, Victorian times when they got real into the occult and they used to do these seances. And one of the uh, ways that they kind of tried to demonstrate that they had contact with the uh, with the uh, other side was that they would produce ectoplasm, and oftentimes it was the uh, the medium pulling this. Usually it was like a piece of gauze out of their mouth, all slimy and icky, and they'd say that was ectoplasm. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, yeah, it does. But then again, you know, slimer, you know, slime in someone's pretty disgusting too. True. Okay, so they go to the library, encounter the library ghost. Do we assume that it was the library ghost that, you know, caused all the cards to go flying and then left all the goop all over the place? Of course. Yes, it is time for the sequel. Just letting the credits finish, and uh, we will then be shutting it down here on YouTube. So make sure you're joining us over on Rumble. I see that JPRPH1. We got a skeptic tank, and we got a Samuel Proctor over there. Hey, I'm there. I Yes, I thought you'd be over there, too. One more time, I'm going to drop that link real quick. Curtis Selby's over there. There we go. And that is uh, the original Ghostbusters. Uh, I am going to be, yep, I'm going to be shutting it down here on YouTube. No, no uh, preamble. We'll just be ending it in three, two, one. Uh, well, actually, I got to look to see how the button works. Uh, and I guess it's remove. Uh, remove.